the housing market crash. Now, uh, at the time of this video, it is April 30th, 2020. Um, are we headed for a housing market crash? Now, again, if you've tuned in any other videos, we've covered some of that, but are we heading for a housing market crash? Now, it's important to note that in 2008, we had a housing crisis. This was caused by the housing, right? Now, currently, we have a health crisis that's turned into a pandemic that's now a financial crisis. So it's safe to say that in the recessions, as Keith and I always discuss, in the last five, six, recession, six recessions that we've had, only two of them have resulted in the house prices dropping. So as far as the market crashing, uh, a lot of what happened in 2008 was due to the housing, uh, like we caused it, and not we, but the housing caused it. It was your fault. As, it, was, yes. it was your fault. Faulty loans, right? <laughs> bad loans, bad decisions. Um, people were refinancing their house every six months, pulling money out, buying cars, going on vacations, um, buying other houses, over leveraging. Uh, so we had, uh, there were a lot of factors to that. But right now, we're, we were in, in a, a great place. Now the loans that people have are. Uh, are good quality, you know, 30 year, 15 year fixed loans. And uh, Keith brought a statistic out that that 50% uh, of homeowners in Roseville have 50% or more of equity. Now that's an important, an, an, an important number for you to know that most people are in a good position from an equity standpoint. Now, a lot of this is gonna depend on what happens with the, the stock market, right? But we believe that the real estate market is going to be what's going to help the market rebound faster. Whereas in 2008, it took four years for us to recover. And, and I feel that we are going to recover much, much faster uh, because uh, we are, real estate is going to be the answer, if that makes sense.